Hi, I'm Kayla, and joining me today is Avalon. We're reporting for Kids First. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Laura Bell Bundy, Ryan James Hatanaka, and Garrett Clayton. Miss Bundy has been in countless films and theater productions, such as Good Behavior and Fuller House. Mr. Antanka is also a very talented and experienced actor, having been in TV series such as Nancy Drew and Nurses. Mr. Clayton has been in many films, including a starring role in Teen Beach Movie. He also starred in NBC's Hairspray Live. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for joining us, Ms. Bundy, Mr. Hatsunaka, and Mr. Clayton. Thank you. Thank you. We're so happy to be here, guys. It's nice to chat with you. Miss Bundy, outside of being funny and entertaining, do you think there's a message for kids and families to take away from this series? Uh, yeah, so I think that the, that the show is as crazy and as zany as it is, is really about love. And it's about sibling love. It's about, it's about getting to know and getting to trust your step parents and, and a new way of doing family. So, um, even our family is unusual in the town of Dimsdale, which is also unusual, but it's okay to be weird. So that's part of what I think the message is too. It's okay to be a little bit weird. It's yeah. okay to be a little bit zany. And um, all the best people are. Yes, all the best people are. And it's okay to love your stepbrothers and sisters and your stepmom and dad. <laughs> and I think the other part of it that I, that I, uh, that got cut off is the show is about having your wishes come true. And sometimes those go crazy. So it's important to remember to appreciate what you do have, as opposed to being focused on what you don't. Yeah, I, I love that message. And I do love to get to know people also. I love that. And it's nice to get to know you. Nice to get to know you too. Mr. Clayton, what do you enjoy about being a famous pop star in such a hilarious series? I love it. It's the most fun. I love that I get to sing and dance and I get to interact with everybody in a very, very unique circumstances. I, you know, I've gotten to play a lot of fun characters in the past and this just feels like the most fun. I, it's one of the most fun jobs I've ever had. Your character does seem pretty fun when he's on the screen. Thank you. Mr. Hatsunaka, are you excited to be part uh, of this reboot? Yeah. So, I mean, it's such a, um, this show has such a long history to it. And so many people love it. As you guys know, so, so many people love it. So to be part of something that already has such a big fan base and to be able to come into that, into that world of the show and add in new characters and, and be part of a reboot that, um, that I really think people are going to love, it really means a lot. It really means a lot to me, and I'm very happy to do it. It does. Yeah, yeah, it really does. And I hope you guys love the whole series. I hope you, you and all your friends watch it. And um, I do. <laughs> Ms. Bundy, in what ways do you connect personally with your character, Roy's mom? Not many. I... <laughs> well okay okay I will give you the ways I will give you the ways so I am Roy's mom and I am obsessed with my son Roy and in real life I'm obsessed with my son Huck so that sort of <laughs> crazy mom uh loving her son so much that that is that is definitely the same I also love to dance and while I've never been a ballroom dancer, uh, I've been a dancer most of my life. So both Rachel and I have a love of dance, a love of performance. Um, I say we're both kind of loud. What do you guys say? We both have a lot of energy. Yeah, both very, very high energy people. <laughs> In a good way. Um, and I guess I can be a little bit um, self-concerned maybe too self-concerned sometimes. Maybe there is a lot of that. <laughs> um, yeah. And I do love my husband. She loves her husband. So 
you know, I guess I have more than I thought. Thanks for asking, Avalon. Yeah, it does sound like you connect with your character in a lot of ways. Mr. Clayton, mm -hmm. do you have any fun stories to tell us about making the series, the series either on or off camera with your cast members? Um, you know, Laura and I got to have a really fun dinner um, one time. It was after we did our first episode and we were like, you're fun. Let's have dinner. And so she invited me and my husband over and we had um, a bunch of different kinds of cheeses and made, made dinner together. And we hung out on the beach for a little bit. And so I feel like we've all gotten to really bond and get to hang out and have a lot of fun together. And, you know, me and RJ were always finding times to stop and get, you know, catch up or get to know each other on set. It felt like everyone had a genuine interest in each other's lives. And that makes a big difference when you're, you know, what you would typically call work really didn't feel like work. And that's the dream, you know, you want to go somewhere that you get paid to love what you do and be surrounded by people that you appreciate. And I think that's why this makes this show so much more fun and special than, um, than we even anticipated. You know, we were lucky enough to be a part of this, but to also be surrounded by good people is really, it's a gift. It is a gift. Mr. Hatanaka, what was it like for you to perform, to learn and perform the ballroom dances shown throughout this series? We had so much fun dancing all the time. And there's a lot of singing too in, in the upcoming episodes. There's a lot of singing and a lot of, um, just a lot of really fun stuff to do. So uh, I grew up playing a lot of sports and doing some dance and, and having a dance partner like Laura Bell Bundy was a really, really fun thing because we were so uh, well connected as people and well connected as, as dance partners in the show. Um, and so we just had fun. Like really it was like Garrett was saying, it's to come to work every day and really just have fun is like the best thing ever. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, we really love to dance and, and hopefully the series goes for many, many seasons. And by the end of it, uh, you know, we're professional dancers. <laughs> instead of a semi-professional dancer exactly. Professional dancer. exactly yeah I love to dance too so it sounds like it'd be super fun to just get to do that for a long time as part of your job yeah yeah, yeah. Miss Bundy in episode three you become a mindless zombie what challenges did this pose for you as an actor monkey oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um it's funny. It seems like that happens to you twice, RJ. <laughs> yeah. Um, in in the show, um, you know, it actually was kind of challenging because I wasn't sure. So we were we were sort of possessed by the monkey dance, right? And so it, we were like zombie like, but yeah. but <laughs> like, but were we really? You know how how. So actually it did, I, it actually took a couple of different run-throughs to figure out what the body language was there and how I moved and how much of the dance I was incorporating and how much eye contact I was having and whether I was using my real voice or whether I was using a zombie-esque voice, like what was I doing? And it changed. I kept changing it to try to find the right one. And I feel like it did lock in at some point, RJ, I might've been a network run through or something. I remember just having this thought when we were doing the monkey and I was like, oh, no, we need to do this. Um, and it ended up locking in, but it took a second. It was actually kind of hard to figure out what the balance was between our real characters yeah. and our real and our characters' voices and zombie voices and monkey dancing. Especially that scene when we're packing up the house and things like that in the monkey. How do zombies pack? Are all these zombies or are we just possessed by the song? Yeah. Fun though. It, those are the fun things where you come into work and you're like, okay, this is an interesting like problem to have to solve today. So like, like, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Hatanaka, Mr. Clayton, and Mrs. Bundy. Thank you. Guys, thank thank you. you so much. So much. We'll see you next time. See you next time. Okay. Thank you, Laura Bell Bundy, Ryan James Huntaka, and Garrett Clayton for your time.
The series, The Fairly On Parents, Fairly Under, will premiere Thursday, March 31st, 2022, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. I'm Avalon. And I'm Kayla. Reporting for Kids First, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our interviews or reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye. There it is. The, the new, new series, The Fairly Odd Parents, Parents Fairly Amateur. Stream the full season with your family March 31st. Exclusively, exclusively on, on Paramount+. Plus. Plus.